now first off let us start with the example um, let us create a class file so let's first create a package right click on the source folder new package and over here you can say something like com dot hibernate dot say chapter one And in this particular package, com.hibernate.chapter1, let us create a new Java class. And let us call this class, say, employee. Employee. Now, In this employee class, I'm going to have say two data that is private int say like employee ID and private string employee name. So I'm going to have two data private int employee ID and private string employee name and let us go create the getters and setters right click source generate getters and setters and over here select employee id employee name and click ok so that we have now created a class with like two private data and then like the getters and setters now do you know what is the difference between a java class and the java bean well the main difference is um a bean is nothing but a class but then it follows certain rules uh, two rules basically the first rule is uh, for a class to be called a bean it should have private data and the data should be accessed using the getters and setters and then it should have a no args constructor but since all classes have come with the no arguments uh, constructor we don't have to worry about that for this one we just will create two private data employee ID and then we will create the getters and setters. Now after creating this class now I have decided okay I am going to use hibernate to create a table out of this class. I want to use hibernate to create a table out of this class. Now to create a table out of this class all I have to do is go on top of this public class employee annotate it that is give an at symbol and after that you will have to type a capital E and then put control and space you create a control and space bar if you put a control and space bar after that E it will give you this list here that is at capital E and control and space bar together now you will see like entity in org.hibernate.annotations and org.javax.persistence. Select javax.persistence. The reason why you should select javax.persistence is we are using JPA annotations, not Hibernate's annotations. We are not using Hibernate annotations, we are using JPA annotations. The advantage of using JPA annotations is JPA is Sun Java standard. Um, so what happens is uh, tomorrow if uh, hibernate is no longer popular and like you know some other ORM tool uh, is becoming popular like Toplink or iBatis, uh, we can keep these class files as it is because they would be following JPA annotations too. So that is the industry standard. If you use org.hibernate.annotations what is going to happen is uh, tomorrow if uh, your company decides to go with uh, some other ORM tool you will have to come and change all these class files to the new annotations so the safe bit is use JPA annotations always so Java X dot persistence dot entity that is the annotations now putting this annotation on top of the class what it says is we are telling hibernate hey this class I want to create a table out of this class I want to create a table out of this class that's it now every class should have a primary key now to create a primary key like I want this employee ID to be the primary key 
So what I will do is I can either do it here right on top of this private int employee ID or I can come and do it on the getter method. It's either on the getter method or this wherever the data is specified. Usually the industry standard I have noticed most people do it on the getter method. Now come on top of this get employee ID the column that you want to be the primary key and put this at symbol and then type I and then put a control space and you will get this ID Java X persistence that means this is now a primary key now this is going to be a primary key and that is it now you can save this it is as simple as that we have told hibernate okay this is going to be a table called employee with this employee ID going to be the primary key make sure it is on the get employee ID not on the set employee ID it's either here on top of the data or the getter method okay this class I'll be using the getter method